Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to Lift Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. It is the host himself, Ted Talk Money, coming back at you to tell y'all something. This time, my people, XRP is up, up, up 188% on the month. So if you've been listening to this channel for at least a month, you are in profit. My people, I hope you've been enjoying the past 24 hours because you know what you get over here? Another 24 hours of blessings. As we guys can see, our hearts are open to receive the airdrop of blessings because here on this side, we've been predicting this thing for quite a while. Really, when it comes down to a race, you must keep your eyes on the prize in our community has the miracle working power of faith. So if you are a lifter, be sure that you hit the like button. Of course, consider subscribing if you're new to this channel and let's get buckled in. My people, XRP ready for liftoff, this crypto market ready for liftoff as well. You guys can see we're going to be talking some things. You know, a lot of people seeing that the crypto market is booming, altcoins are booming, but I want to remind you guys, okay, it ain't all just sweet cookies and rainbows and everything like that. There is a correction that's most likely going to be coming, obviously, with any kind of asset. You guys are seeing that it is critical. Bitcoin is at this resistance level at 100K. So most likely there's going to be something set and programmed in of about 85.6 when it comes down to Bitcoin. Of course, we're not really a huge BTC channel, but as you guys know, Bitcoin is the most dominant crypto at the moment at the moment right now. We're going to be talking about this fresh news here today. Wisdom Tree files for a XRP ETF in Delaware. So we're definitely going to be putting our haunches on that. They basically making sure that we understand why XRP is going to be positioning itself so heavy in the future. Of course, let's go ahead and look at the numbers for today. BTC right now getting back to that correction level, most likely they're at 952. You guys can see Ethereum up 3%. This is kind of a signal that you can see things are really moving a little bit more over to that alt of the alt season, altcoin season. You guys can see here our fear and greed index. Everybody's moving officially over into the extreme greed side. Now, of course, if you're kind of new to our channel, what we've been saying is usually around this time, this is the part where you want to start taking profits because there is a lot of easy money that is entering into the market. You guys can see that BTC's dominance is well over 50%, but they've also added this altcoin season index that shows you that we're kind of tipping closer and closer into what may be a alt altcoin season. We shall see. As of the 21st, you guys can see that ETF inflows have caused 567 million more dollars to really come in over the last 30 days into the crypto market as we've, of course, reached over $3.2 trillion globally for the crypto market cap. Now, I really want to remind Mind you guys, talking all this good stuff about crypto, it is important that you keep your crypto in a safe place. Decent Wallet is doing this huge mega airdrop event right now, basically saying they're already 44% off the cold wallets. We got you guys on that. But this is a major event. Basically, we're going to be there is a huge discount on the cold wallets, and they're going to be airdropping five of their A plus wallets. Look, I have a, a deal fresher than this for you, but you can see that they're deeply discounting their decent wallet. Wallets. Basically, these are cold storage wallets. Just so you guys can have an understanding of what's going to be going on here. Basically, once you do buy your cold storage wallet, uh, submit your application between the 6th and the 12th of January and check your wallet on the 15th because they're going to be revealing all of these coins. Basically, you're going to be having 3,000 of the, the triple B is going to drop 30 CTC, FIG, and Zehu, if you guys are familiar, of course, with that over on XRP. So we're going to be talking about that. I kind of want to bring this up for the XTC boys that are watching. This is a Benny Bad Boy a meme coin that's just going, I mean, absolutely bonkers, stupid over there. But again, like I said, folks, you want to take pay attention. Our, our channel here has a deeper discount. Y'all can get this for 89 bucks. Again, they continue to amaze our community because even last, fr last Black Friday, I don't even think the prices were even this cheap, folks. Seriously, every single year they keep on showing us love. Of course, if you're kind of in, off in the X 
DC or want to have a little bit more of a uh, tap and go option. It's not fully like the full device and it doesn't really carry the XRPL, but this is a card option you guys can have. And again, if I have anybody who's kind of scared about cold storage, I, trust me, I've been there. I would look at people talk about it like, what the heck is it? A big, huge thumb drive. But no, seriously, this thing is very simple to use. Plus it has biometric security, meaning your fingerprint is what really unlocks the thing for you. We also have some other options uh, in there, video descriptions as well, guys. Be sure that you use a link for it as well and everything uh, because there's a lot of Black, Black Friday options that are available. Uh, I really want to share this as well with you guys. So Jack the Rippler was putting this out saying how Linda P. Jones is seeing how XRP could hit 33 bucks in this current bull market and what this could actually mean for this CTF token he's always talking about, saying it has the ability to skyrocket from $1.3 to $748 a token if this forecast is realistic. So, of course, a lot of people know about Linda P. Jones. She's Wall Street, you know, strategist, whatnot, came over to the XRP army saying very bullish things about XRP. Big believer in XRP. Uh, just saying with over 120 million CTF token in circulation, it, it boasts the smallest supply of any DeFi token on the XRPL. Market cap of 20 billion could easily drive the value. So I'm looking into it and I'm seeing, oh, Okay, XRPL really has it over here. There's almost 5,000 holders on it, and it's up about 80% on the week. It is trading over on Sologenic, so this is associated with the XRPL. But I want you all to see as well, guys, you understand that meme coins are popping over on the XRPL. Seriously, we don't talk a lot about it, but memes are something that you cannot ignore these days in crypto, obviously, with the real world eventually merging with Web3. So look at this, folks. I'm not promoting any of these coins exactly, but we just really haven't shared with you guys what's really going on over there. You got Bear, XRPL Blue, Drop, XR Doge, which again, XR Doge has been around for quite a while. Uh, Trump Coin, X Meme, Brad, Brad Coin, all this stuff. So meme coins do exist over on the XRPL. Now, to really give you guys some more um, serious news, to really get back to it, guys, you know, we talk a lot about the BRICS nations. Um, we personally do believe the BRICS nations, Russia, India, China, South Africa, you know, what they're doing that that block, if you will. We personally do believe that this is the new representation of, you know, the new digital age that they themselves are kind of moving ahead with digital assets and whatnot. Well, news just pops out that Russia is now a little cautious about tokenizing their real world asset. Bank of Russia reported that the legal framework for tokenization is still under development, which guys, to be honest, I kind of get it. You know what I mean? Like not to say anything, you know, putting my bias towards Russia or anything, how they do things, but that would be a very murky place, especially for the Russian market, for them to really have tokenized real world assets. Of course, if you guys don't know what I mean, you know, just really no universally accepted definition or classification for those assets, you know, it could get very very murky so obviously guys you know some countries are a little bit more advanced than others but of course the digital ruble is still in development um next i want to share this with you guys oh, oh and to keep this xrp related you understand once the BRICS nations have their um in a sense alternative obviously they've already said they're going to be using the blockchain for their currency we personally do believe that xrp is going to be involved uh, this news did drop. I want to just give you guys an update, of course, on the SEC uh, legal update. You guys already know that, you know, since XRP has been deemed not a security, XRP has always been in the clear. But Ripple kind of still has their uh, seat, you know, on the bench, if you will. So uh, you guys can see that Stuart Adarodi, the Ripple legal chief, offers SEC some advice on reforming crypto laws under the new leadership you guys can see that Alderodi expressed confidence in the transition team's ability to address regulations effectively. He said, I trust the transition team to make the right call with these table stakes for crypto in mind. Obviously, everyone on the Hill in Washington knows that crypto is up front. You know, you get that's that's what people are really questioning that now. And us here, lifters, you see now you have people coming over to, oh, utility cryptos. You already have them. Or if you've been listening or if you've been subscribed, you know the right direction to go. So, of course, don't be scared to drop some love. Don't be scared to drop how much you've been holding on because these bears need to know. Everybody who's been fudding you so far is now going to be acting like they are your friends or they've just gone radio silent as they 
uh, silently accumulate. All right. That's the thing, guys. Extreme greed is here. All right. And during those times, you got to understand this, this, this market is still going to move in cycles, you know. All right. So keep this in mind. Gary Gensler, of course, he announced his resignation. That's going to be effective January 20th, 1, 2025. His tenure was marked by significant enforcement actions in the crypto sector. All right. That was his main stay. That was the reason why he was brought in and why he was there. All right. So John D put it out. He was retweeting Eleanor Terry. Big shout out to Eleanor Terry over at Fox Business. Basically dropping this news about the Wisdom Tree registration. John Dean said, hey, their love at XRP is the most resilient crypto asset around. Uh, right here, these are some of the details. Basically, you see that this was dropped in Delaware and that this was the XRP, uh, Wisdom Tree XRP fund. So I'm going to share a little bit more about that real quick here so you guys can see and have an understanding as well. <clears throat> you know. Uh, some people might get us a little confused and, and think, oh, well, you know, the, the XRP ETF, it's here. The filing is just a early step towards launching the ETF, but does not yet include a formal application to the SEC. Wisdom Tree, a management firm overseeing over $113 billion in assets, has registered a trust in Delaware for a proposed XRP ETF. OK, as you guys know, ETFs enable investors to trade assets like crypto without actually owning them. That was a big thing why a Bitcoin ETF was so huge. All right. XRP versus the SEC. You guys can see right here basically saying there's a nuanced decision that has application or implications on how crypto is going to be regulated. And now, of course, with the SEC appealing aspects of the ruling to clarify jurisdiction over cryptocurrency, they're saying that there is going to be you know, speculation, of course, since Gary Gensler is going to be resigning. So if if it is approved, this ETF could pave the way for more diverse crypto investment options, which in turn we believe is going to cause increased demand for the crypto market and, of course, utility. OK. All right. Big news, of course, right here for my XRP holders. Of course, if you guys are joining this so far, be sure that you drop some love, drop some like, share this thing out. Be sure that you get in tune with anybody in our community and everything like that. Now, Ripple put this out saying today in partnership with Arct Axe and uh, Aberdeen, uh, we've ex we've we're excited to announce the first tokenized money market fund on the XRPL. I'm going to go back to that with 16 trillion in tokenized assets projected by 2030, 16 trillion dollars. Folks, wow, this milestone unlocks cost saving settlement efficiencies by deploying capital markets infrastructure on the XRPL. Folks, this is so important. Are you listening? You see what I mean? Like, all right, we can go into detail right here. Full press release right here from Ripple. I want you guys to understand why this is so important. It's more than like cost savings. You see, that's very important in the world of business. Obviously, no one wants friction. Nobody wants uh, heavy cost fees. None of that. Cost saving is huge. Then you have time saving. See, settlement efficiency, time saving, instant payments. All right. So you already have it cheaper and faster. And now you're going to be able to deploy capital market infrastructures on this actual ledger. Get out of town. So that's what basically ArchX did. This regulated digital asset exchange custodian. They said that they're going to be providing access to a money market fund from, of course, another asset man uh, asset manager in tokenized form on the XRPL. 3.8 billion pounds. OK, uh, yeah, 3.8 billion pounds to the liquidity fund is going to be representing the first money first tokenized money market fund on the XRPL, folks. That is quite a that's quite a chunk. That is quite a chunk. According to McKinsey, tokenized money markets, again, already exceed one billion. If you guys want to see that already, it is true. Tokenized markets, it's RWAs is really where it's at. We announced this for you guys last year. Larry Fink announced this last year, y'all. For real. Ripple will allocate five million into tokens on the uh, Lux Fund. Ripple's allocation represents a part of a larger fund that Ripple will allocate to RWAs on the XRPL. <clears throat> so, folks, this is is important for you. Why? Because this means the demand is going to be coming in such a huge way. The arrival of this money market on the XRPL demonstrates how real world assets are being tokenized to enhance efficiency. 
further reinforcing the XRPL as one of the leading blockchains for real world asset tokenization. Huge. OK, huge. Obviously, the XRP is essential for the XRPL, of course, but already it's used for demand. Folks, the XRPL is coming up. Ripple is coming up. XRP is coming up. The XRPL is a proven and scalable blockchain purpose built utility built to meet the needs of financial institutions with native capabilities for tokenization, trading, movement of assets, all of this, folks. This is it. Yet, when it comes down to talking to your friends and family about the XRPL, when it comes down to talking to your family about XRP, Ripple, XLM, XDC, HBAR, IOTA, Algorand, any of those utilities, it's just like talking to a brick wall. Well, we are going to fix that, my people. All right. Time will tell. Keep on bringing them back here. We're going to be developing courses and ways and changes for our people who may seem ignorant. But it is their time to know. Be sure that you share this thing out. Be sure that you let the person in your life who is still acting ignorant, still putting their head in the sand, that there is hope. All right. Health, wealth and wisdom for everybody who is watching. With that being said, folks, I'll catch you in the next update. Peace. <music>